The fight for civil rights started long before the 60s, even when there was a $40,000 bounty for the capture of runaway slave Harriet Tubman. This did not stop her from shepherding her passengers along the Underground Railroad to freedom. And it was that same spirit that prompted many black women to become involved in the fight for freedom. The civil rights movement of the 50s and 60s can be properly dated from the time of Rosa Parks' refusal to be seated in the back of a bus, followed by the boycotts, picket lines, beatings, lynchings, killings of freedom fighters, whites as well as blacks, and most significantly, marches led by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and his wife, Coretta Scott King. But being in the forefront of a cause usually comes with a high price. For Coretta Scott King, the price was her husband's life. In honoring Martin Luther King Jr. with the state holiday, we are also honoring the spirit of interracial brotherhood and cooperation in Georgia. Today, Mrs. King is an international champion of civil rights, keeping alive her husband's dream and the dream of others who gave their lives for civil and human rights. Martin said it many years ago, it's nonviolence and non-existence. And we, got, we have to learn to solve our problems through negotiating meetings, sitting down, discussing. We have to solve them non-violently, peacefully, or else we will uh, destroy ourselves. That's what his whole life represented. That is what he symbolized. And that's why I think it's important that there be a place like the King Center, the Martin King Center for Nonviolent Social Change, where people learn how to struggle nonviolently.